Hello, I'm Suzanne Curlew, also known as Curly Sue. I'm a vegan cook, vegan author, vegan blogger, and I also have a huge amount, well actually over 12,000 followers on Facebook and lots more on Twitter and Instagram and I also have my own YouTube channel. I do also have a vegan cooking show in the USA, um, although as you can hear I am British and I am based in the United Kingdom. I want to talk to you today about veganism and how this can help in with health and nutrition. Unfortunately in the United Kingdom diseases are on the rise, diseases like heart disease, stroke, diabetes, obesity and I believe that veganism can help with these diseases. I don't think it's a cure for all of them but it can certainly make a significant um, impact on the individuals who unfortunately have these diseases. I personally had some experiences a few years ago where I had to undergo major surgery twice and as a result, I came across this saying that says genetics loads the gun, but lifestyle pulls the trigger. And I want to help other people to find quick, easy and cheap ways in which they can change their eating habits and also find ways that even though they may have been dealt certain cards with regards to their genetics, they don't have to pull the trigger, i.e. their lifestyle that will bring about these diseases, they can be avoided or reduced quite dramatically. Um, in addition to that, there needs to be more awareness of veganism and what veganism actually is. I went to my GP and when I said to her that I was a vegan, she said to me, oh, so what do you eat? I thought, oh boy, a GP asking me what do I eat? which just shows that many people need to understand what do vegans eat and how it can benefit them. I mean, everybody eats vegan food every day. Fruit is vegan, water is vegan, most breads are vegan. So it's not like people don't eat vegan food, they're just not aware of what is vegan. So I think there should be a vegan challenge. So people of the United Kingdom, I challenge you to the vegan challenge. How about becoming a vegan for a day or even a week? and see how you feel afterwards and how basically it probably isn't anywhere near as difficult as you think because there's many things that you eat already that are vegan. So think about taking up the challenge.